Hey y'all, it's Sandy with Little House on Metairie. Welcome to my home. If you are new, I just wanted to welcome you. And if you are coming back to visit my channel again, thank you so much. In today's video, we are going to head on over to Walmart and see what we can find for Easter and spring this 2024 season. I wanna take you guys along with me, so let's get to shopping. So we are at Walmart and I'm going to be looking specifically for things that I can add to my spring and Easter decorating this year. So I hope that you spot some things that might work for your own home and your decorating needs this year. So let's start browsing and see what they have. So I wanted to show y'all these cute options that I noticed right away for the kitchen. If you are hosting any uh, holiday Easter or spring parties, I thought those would be some great options to choose from. And then look how cute this basket is. This could be used for so many different things, creating vignettes or just placing uh, a candle with some maybe some magazines. To me, it's a versatile piece that you can use throughout your home. Next, I spotted these really cute two-piece art sets at a great price. Here's another really cute basket option. In this discounted section, a lot of things are out of place. So bear with me. I'm trying to find uh, and match up prices with each item. I love these gold spheres. There's lots of uses for these. You can place them in bowls or vessels or just lay them on top of displayed books. They had two options for these vase arrangements, and then I love this three-piece tabletop set. It's definitely a slim pickings here at my local Walmart, so hopefully your clearance section will have a lot more to choose from, but I did see this really cute sign that would match my daughter's room, and at $3.50, it's a great price. Here they only have a few candle selections left like this huge blue citron and coconut. It smells really good and it's a five wick candle and I think that this would probably last forever. <laughs> I couldn't believe they still had two of these beautiful uh, olive trees in this beautiful basket with the pebbles to me, the stems and leaves look very realistic. I also love the detail on this jar. This would be really beautiful styled up for spring. was so disappointed when I spotted this golden bird that would have went perfectly in my living room. Unfortunately, the little beak was broken and there was only one. So these were $1.50 a piece, which I'm sure that's why they went really quick. Here's some more wall art at a great price. Also love this round little basket. The lid comes off so that way you can place things inside. If you have some round coasters, I think that would be a great place to put them and that would last well into the summer. Also love this two-piece tabletop set. It's a glass with a yellowish green color and I think it'd be really pretty with some candles for spring. I 
believe these style photo frames is coming back into style. It opens up and you can add two pictures inside the glass with a beautiful gold trim. So to me, this would pair really well with the photo um, frame I just showed you because it's got a glass a rim. I love the ridges and it's shaped in a hexagon. And to me, those would be beautifully styled together. I am definitely noticing all of the gold uh, accents and loving it, especially this cute uh, bird uh, frame picture with the gold trim. They have two more picture options up here. This one has these vibrant blue flowers in this vase, and then they have another two-piece set right here at another great price. Slim pickings, but they do have a few pillow options uh, that would work really well for spring and summer decor. I love that these have the zippers to where you can take the pillow inserts out and save each pillow cover for uh, each season, packing them away to not uh, take up too much space and definitely cost effective to reuse the pillow inserts and change out just the pillow covers. So this is a three-piece glass bud vase set. I love the colors of each one. And then I just spotted another precious little tiny little vase up here. I like that it has the ridges and I am definitely considering getting it. It's a great price and I may just take it home and repaint it. So this little glass uh, bowl with the gold trim would be a cute uh, set to add to the photo frame and the hexagon box. So the next place we headed was the faux plant section and the first thing I spotted was this adorable little plant arrangement inside this little bird. It's got the uh, little rock pebbles with the greenery. Before we finish looking at all the faux plants and uh, flower arrangements and vases, I wanted to show you these really cute faux uh, boxwood spheres. These are great fillers for spring. I also like to place them on top of candle holders throughout my home. To me, Walmart has a wide variety and great options for faux arrangements with great prices.
I love this natural candle holder. It would be a versatile piece that could be used for spring and well into summer. This end cap has a few more spring options as well as pillows and throws. I like this muted light gauze throw blanket. It would be a great option for spring as well as leaving it out throughout the summer. Here is another beautiful option. Now let's go browse at the Easter Isles and see what we can find there. I love this sweet little small bunny, but it is a light up one. Uh, I did try to light it up for y'all, but this one uh, wasn't working. But I think this would be really pretty lit up in the evenings. This would be cute for any kind of treat bar that you may decorate with for Easter. I bought one similar last year at Target. These fuzzy bunny and eggs. I'm also noticing a trend this year. Walmart has a few options. Unfortunately, this pink one lost his ear, but they have the larger ones and the smaller rabbits to choose from. Also just realized that this poor little pink bunny also lost one of his ears. I really like this tiny but cute egg holder. I love this cute bunny trail sign. It's got a precious little cottontail dot for the eye. And at $4.98, it's a great price. If you watch any of my other Shop With Me's, I love to browse the gift bag sections, not just for their intended use, but I like to see if there's any that I could use for inexpensive art to switch out for each season. And y'all, look how adorable this little bunny picture is. I think it is so cute. I wanted to show you a few gift options. I'm not quite ready to start Easter basket shopping or gift shopping yet, but when I am, I definitely will be coming back to Walmart. To me, they have lots of great options and great prices to choose from. I wanted to give you a quick glimpse if you are ready to start your Easter shopping. Up here, I love this cute beaded garland with the natural wood beads, these really cute mini crosses. And then I see one option for ribbon this is white and tan plaid so the ribbon is pretty thin but it does have the wired edges it is a two and a half inches wide 12 feet long and it's four dollars and 98 cents so I absolutely love this He is Risen sign. It's one of the things we celebrate as a family. Our Savior was resurrected on this day. So I love to add reminders like this sign throughout our home to focus on the main reason why our family celebrates this special holiday.
So unfortunately, this Walmart was picked over pretty much. So there was a lot of empty boxes. So I'm trying to show you what was actually left. And down here, they have this really cute pillow with the bunny ears that was actually sewn um, on it. So it didn't flop around, but I thought it was really cute. And then I am a sucker for baskets. This is actually what I'm going to be using in my decorating this year. I will be incorporating a lot of different baskets and then y'all look how cute this little bunny tray is i am considering uh getting it i probably wouldn't keep it this dark color although i like it i do want to maybe do an oven cleaner method to see if possibly i can age it and make it a little bit more vintage looking here at this Walmart, they don't have many options for paper plates but the two that they have i think are absolutely beautiful So I'm not really sure if this is from years past or if this is something new, but I noticed a whole section right here of light up eggs and buckets. And I think that this would be really cute uh, if you are wanting to try a nighttime Easter egg hunt. I know my kids would surely get a kick out of this. Now let's browse and see what they have for baking and treat options. I noticed that Walmart has traditional and natural egg dye, which I really uh, appreciate. So if you uh, dye eggs, I would love to hear about your traditions. In our family, we each personalize our own eggs, and then we take them to parties, and especially our Easter gathering for our family, and we pocket eggs. So you, everybody gets an egg, and you hold it in your hand, and you pock the other egg, which everyone cracks is, of course, out. And if yours was the champion, you move on to the next person and you keep going until you have the champion egg left that's uncracked. So we always have so much fun doing that tradition every year. So I'm curious to know if it's just a Southern tradition. So let me know in the description box below if this is something your family does as a tradition for Easter as well. Or if not, let me know what your family traditions are. I would love to hear all about it.
Walmart has just a few options of table runners, placemats, and napkins that will coordinate to build a beautiful Easter or spring tablescape. I like that these placemats are reversible so that way you can get your money's worth and reuse them from year to year coordinating with different uh, options for tablescapes. Walmart has a wide variety and some really great options for Easter baskets. I like to shop them for, of course, their intended purpose, but I also like to browse to see if there's any I can use to add maybe some flower arrangements or faux plants to, or just to use to decorate my home for the Easter and spring season. To me, any of these really cute baskets right here could be used to style and decorate with for Easter. So we have a few more aisles to browse before checking out and heading home where I will show you all that we bought today here at Walmart to add to our spring and Easter decor. And thankfully I did find a whole nother section of these pink Easter bunnies that all had their ears. How cute are these ceramic baskets? They have two options to choose from. This light pink one with the gold handle and it has the bunny uh, cut out. So I could see this one styled with some fairy lights or LED candle. And then this beautiful basket weave white one, I can see styled with a faux plant or arrangement. Okay, y'all, well, we are back from our Walmart shopping trip, and I cannot wait to show you guys what we got for this spring and Easter. If you have not had a chance to check out your local Walmart, I highly recommend going. They had lots of great options for Easter and spring this year, so let's jump right into the haul. So we got this cute little bunny tray. It was $7.98. And I don't necessarily like the color, but I definitely liked the little tray. It's got a small little edge uh, so that you can put things in or just decorate with it on your counter, or you can even stand it up. But I definitely want to DIY this and use the oven cleaner method to just make it look aged and old. So that is a DIY we're gonna do together. Hopefully it'll come out exactly how I want it, like the other projects that I've done before. So I bought this little dollar bunny. I like it. Uh, it's blue with little daisies. It was only a dollar. It's really tiny, but I think it'd be really cute on a vignette or a tiered tray. I am probably gonna use it either in my daughter's bedroom, our bathroom, or even maybe our treat bar because we have this little tiny cubby and it's the perfect size, but we'll see where I end up putting it. But it's small, but it's sweet. I bought some eggs. These were $3. Um, to me, they look a little bit more realistic. I have some really cute colored ones 
and I have some gold ones, but I wanted to use ones that look a little bit more uh, real. So I think this little set right here for $3 will work for what I'm needing it for. The next thing I got is this cute little Easter garland. It was $5.98. It's got the wooden beads uh, that form some carrots with the little fringe green tops. And I'm not sure, I ended up finding another garland that um, I'll show you when I start decorating. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this one, but I do like the natural uh, carrots. So I may use it in our guest bathroom this year. So we'll have to see. So I spotted this really cute egg holder. It's pretty small, but it is gold. And I love to decorate with gold in our living room. This little egg holder was $4.47, but I thought it would be really sweet with some DIY uh, eggs that I'm gonna make out of some beautiful napkins. So I think it would be really pretty to display them in here. So I'm going to be doing a golden Easter theme again this year, and I knew that this would be a perfect addition to add to it. So anytime I go to Walmart, I love to go to their clearance section. Um, they have one way in the back of the store. It's usually um, a dollar all the way down to higher end electronics that are usually on clearance, but they also have a home section where they always have clearance items there as well. So I love to browse there every time I go to Walmart and I found this cute little vase. It was $2.57. It's pretty small as you can see. So I didn't necessarily love the color, but it does have these beautiful ridges uh, in it. It's a terracotta vase, but I'm definitely gonna DIY this and paint it. I could do a lot of methods since it already has the indention. When I paint it, I think it will just be really pretty, especially for uh, Easter. I'm gonna maybe put a little, some spring flowers in it. But this would be really cute on a stack of books or on a little ledge or on the top of a shelf. So I just wanted to show you, like you can put the little vase on, on top of a book, a cute way to style with a simple uh, floral or stem in it. So I definitely did not want to pass this up for $2.50. So the next thing I found in that little clearance section is this really cute framed chickadee art. Again, it had the gold frame and it's got a little bird um, on it. So it'd be perfect for spring. I can DIY this and take the bird out and add something really beautiful for each season. Um, but I plan on using this in our living room and I'm definitely gonna keep the bird there and I can use this all the way through even summer if I wanted to. But again, I might change out the print for each holiday. And this picture was in the clearance section for $4.50. If you watch my channel for some time, so when I go shopping, I love to browse the napkin sections, the gift bag sections, gift boxes, gift wrapped, uh, paper section, because I love to look for things that I could use to do DIYs with and also to add to frames for each season and holiday. To me, it's a very inexpensive way to decorate and change out seasonally. So I thought this really cute Easter a bunny with the little basket it was 98 cents and I thought again that this would make really cute wall art for Easter so when I spotted this I thought it was so sweet it's just a little bird and it's got uh, picks in it and it's got some faux gravel inside of it and I just thought this was absolutely precious this can be styled on window seals. I'm definitely gonna be using it in uh, our bedroom this year because I like to do uh, lighter tones in there with some pops of greenery. And I just thought this would be a great addition. But how cute would this be again? It would be styled on uh, a book or even a large coffee table book or just placed on shelving alone. I just think that this is such a beautiful decor piece that can bring you uh, well into spring and even well into summer. So I bought this really cute a terracotta boxwood arrangement. This was $10.96, so a decent price. And like, and this could be used alone with the terracotta pretty color. They have a lot of terracotta uh, pots that you can uh, incorporate uh, a, a faux one next to if you have some real plants or just placing this again on top of a book or on a shelf. And when I saw this cute little uh, basket, it was $8.98 and I love how it has the little bunny ears. And I, I placed this inside and I just thought that this was so precious. So this is probably how I'm going to style it uh, in our bedroom. 
But again, this could be used in so many different ways. And then this basket, how adorable is that? Add like a liner inside of it and put a real plant. You can add different faux plants. And this is also just a cute basket to decorate with or even use it as intended as a cute, a sweet basket for one of your kiddos or loved ones or grandchildren uh, with just all kind of little goodies. But however you use it, it's such a cute basket. So I bought this really cute bunny trail sign. It was $4.98. And it's got like the sage green uh, background with the white lettering and the little bunny. And I thought that the little cotton tail for the eye dot was uh, so cute. Stick it on a ledge. I'm probably, I might use it for our treat bar. Um, it doesn't have a hanger. So um, you would have to add one if you wanted to hang it like on a wall but you can just place it on a shelf. But however you choose to use it, I just think that it's such a cute little uh, sign to use for Easter. So when I go shopping, I like to check out their fabric sections as well. And so this was a one yard uh, fabric cut for $4.97 but I definitely wanted to do um, not necessarily a full-fledged Peter Cottontail room because a lot of decor that goes specifically for a Peter Rabbit uh, room, but I definitely want to do that theme in our family room this year, and I thought of so many different ways that I could use this fabric uh, to decorate and use in that room. So come back and check out how we'll DIY this into a cute Peter Rabbit themed family room. It's not specifically Easter related, but it definitely could be used for Easter. It was $3.50 in the clearance section. And I loved the gold details that it had. And then it says, let all you do be done in love. And it's got this beautiful blush pink color. And then it's got like a beautiful print, um, a light pink and white flowers on the outer portion of it. It's gonna be really cute to add to my daughter's room this spring, but it's also a piece that could be used year round. So nothing too exciting, but for the treat bar, they had some really cute options for sprinkles. So I thought that this would be a cute addition to add to the hot cocoa treat bar for Easter. I liked the pastel colors in this one. The next thing I got was this pretty basket. Um, it was $5 and it just had the simple basket weave pattern and a gold uh, handle. And again, I thought this would be really cute uh, either on the treat bar with some little treats inside of it. I even thought just putting a little boxwood, not one that's this high, but just putting a little arrangement inside of it would be really cute. Many different ways that you can style this, or again, it's so cute that you can style it completely on its own. But I love the details of this one that it looked like a cute little basket. I hope that you enjoyed coming shopping at Walmart with me and seeing what I bought to add to this year's decorating. I'll do my best to link everything I've shown today in the description box below. Definitely go check out your local Walmart if you can. And don't forget to browse the home decor clearance section. Love doing all things seasonal and holiday decorating. DIYs, we're gonna be adding some home improvement projects soon in the spring and summer months. Also a certified aromatherapist. So I love incorporating aromatherapy throughout the seasons and holidays. So I'll be putting out a few aromatherapy videos where I will walk you through how to incorporate aromatherapy during the spring and summer season. So if those or things that you love and would be interested in following along here at Little House on Metairie, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. It's absolutely free. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. It really helps me grow here on YouTube, so I would truly appreciate that. Let me know in the comments below that you stopped by for a visit and what was your favorite part of today's shopping and haul. I really love to read each and every one of your comments. I look forward to taking you guys along with me as I decorate and prepare Little House on Metairie, and I hope that you come back and visit me soon. Until next time, friends, bye for now. Bye.